Hi there! In this video I'm going to show you how to use Facebook ads to reach your ideal client and turn them into paying customers. I will take you through the process step by step so whether you are new to Facebook ads or looking to improve your marketing, you are in the right place. So sit back, relax and get ready to learn how to create a successful marketing funnel. My name is Yuan and today I'm going to guide you on a how to implement a marketing funnel with Facebook ads. Please consider subscribing and sharing this video as my goal is to help you succeed in your digital marketing efforts. What is a marketing funnel? A marketing funnel is a way to think about how people decide to buy things. It's like a path that people follow when they are deciding whether to buy something or not. The path starts with hearing about the thing, then getting people interested in that thing, then thinking about it more, and finally deciding whether to buy it or not. Marketers use different ways to get people's attention and interest at each level, so that they are more likely to buy the thing in the end. And a very real example is how Tesla sold over 400,000 cars, Model 3, in the first couple of weeks. Tesla wanted people to get excited about their new car, the Model 3. They started by showing teasers and previews to create interest. People could pre-order the car by paying 1000 which made it feel like they were part of a special group. Tesla then used email, social media and personal messages to encourage people to buy the car. They tracked their progress and made changes to improve their marketing. The result was a very successful launch with over 400,000 pre-orders in just a few weeks. Imagine how the funnels works if it's applied correctly. Before jumping into the Facebook Ads Manager, please click that like button down below if you find this video useful. Basically, a Facebook funnel is built on three levels, that is top of the funnel, middle of the funnel and bottom of the funnel. But watch to the end, I'm gonna show you the fourth level of the funnel that is most unappreciated by marketers and by entrepreneurs and they are leaving lots of money on the table but not including this last level. So we are going to create our first level of the funnel that is top of the funnel. Go with the sales because you need people that you want to convert. It doesn't mean you will convert at the first stage of your funnel. And continue. Always go for this button because you have lots of options to select. Go to a manual and continue. And here we are going to give this a name that is top of the funnel. Everything in here we are gonna leave how it is. We are not gonna touch anything. Usually we can do create A-B test where we can select the advantage campaign budget. But that's meaning that all your budget is gonna be at the campaign level. And you are not be able to control the budgeting of the ad set level. So let's move on next. So we selected the website, the pixel, optimize for conversion. The daily budget is going to be 60% of your budget. The time doesn't matter. You go for lookalikes, fans of the pages, interested. You go broad on a manual placement. You go with the Facebook feed, Instagram feed, and stories and reels without messenger. And one more thing here. If you already have established, you have already audiences, go here and add the audiences, exclude the audiences here and also exclude the people that already engage with your content, with your business. This is going to be just for cold audience. At this level, I recommend you hook the viewer, stop from scrolling and give some real value and make a call to action to convince them to click on your website to have a look at your pages, whatever you have. To the next one that is middle of the funnel. We go in here the same way to create, go to the sales, continue, manual select campaign, continue. This is going to be middle of the funnel. We'll leave everything how it is at this level. Let's go, let's go to the next level, the ad set level, the same, you're going to website, select your pixel, for example this one, select your cover, conversion event, let's say initiate checkout, and here always you leave for conversion, 
At this stage, I recommend using a budget of 20-30%. Let's say it's going to be £5 a day. The date doesn't matter. Remember, at the first level, we are going for cold audience. At this level, in the middle of the funnel, we are going for warm audience. That means we are going to interact with all the people that already interacted with one of our assets, like video, all the creatives, websites. Our goal here is to make purchases. The campaign objective always is going to be optimized for conversions, but your objective could be different. Like at the first level, it was for engagement and this level is for purchases but you want facebook to bring you people that are more likely to buy this is why we are using this objective create new custom audience and you're going to create all the audiences that you already have for example you had a video previously that have 10,000 video views you're going to use that and create an audience people who interacted with your Instagram account but you, you are going to exclude the people that already bought from you click here exclude and exclude the purchases or the lead what I recommend the location leave the same as it was your audience's age the same to use the, the previous interest that you have created that audiences were put no interest at this level at this level you're going to create all the placements but make sure at this level you're gonna optimize all your creatives for all the placements let's go to the campaign level and create this is going to be about of the funnel everything we leave how it is here at this level same optimize for a specific event if you want sales optimize for purchases if you want to generate leads optimize for leads our goal here is to retarget all the people that already interacted with our assets but at a deeper level like in the middle of the funnel we already done that like we have created audiences that viewed our video or we have an on mile list or view our website like in general but here we have to dive deeper and select the audiences that have already interacted with the, with a specific product, had added to cart, had initiated checkout, had done like the uh, key action on our website, on our Facebook page, Instagram, whatever, and we're gonna retarget them because they are hot, and we have to retarget them to convert it into a sale. Optimize for a conversion. The daily budget here I recommend using like 10-15%. Let's say I'm going to use five daily. For the placement, you go for all, you want to be everywhere because you want to make as many sales as possible at this level. And here again, make sure all your creative are optimized for all the placements. What I recommend you, if you don't have like, you have to start right now, but you don't have like two videos to create, two creative, or you don't have two different images, just duplicate the one that you have and after that come up with, with more ideas and add on, on top of that. Please make sure you give to this video a like and a share so more people like you will, is gonna learn from it. And I'm gonna give you this press sheet in the comment down below so you can use it absolutely for free. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope this was really valuable for you and I hope you will really apply and crush your marketing business and I hope you're gonna click this like button down below and subscribe to my channel as i'm just getting started and i wanna inspire as many people as i could to improve their marketing skill and their entrepreneurship journey thanks for watching see you in the next video